let's grind up all of our spices. So what kind of grinder is this? It's just a coffee grinder. But if you're going to grind spices in it, you should have two. You should have one for your coffee okay. and one for your spices. You okay. don't really want to mix the two. When you cook at home, do you usually grind them yourself or buy them ground? Um, it's, I mean, it's kind of a blend for me, you know? I'm not, I don't normally cook with all these different spices, but sometimes I buy them ground, sometimes I grind them up myself. And can you tell the difference in the flavor when you use fresh ground or packaged? So there's really not a big difference in flavor. It's just fresher. It, okay. you know, they'll, they'll keep their potency longer if they stay whole, and then you grind them right before you use them. Okay. But they're good for a year. It's long your time. cabinet. A great thing, too, is to write the date on the back of them. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of keep track, because if you're like me, I forget when it went in there. All right, let's grind these up. Instead of just holding it down at first, you want to pulse it so everything okay. has a chance to move around and evenly get all ground. Ancho chili done. Okay, so next we'll do our caraway seed. And do we have to clean this before we do the next spice? No, because we're kind of using this all in the same dish. Okay. So, do you want to pulse this one? Sure. There you go. Perfect. I feel like we got our own little spice station going here. <laughs> 